picked the wrong weight to quit sniffing glue. My name is Optimus Prime. Autobots, roll out! Well, good morning, folks. It's that time again. Time for another chapter in the uh, saga of the Optimus Prime build from Agora Models. Now, um, interesting story. I, I'll tell it. You tell me if it's interesting. It's Monday morning. So last night, around 10, quarter of 11, 10.45, quarter of 11, get ready to, you know, turn everything off, get ready uh, to, to end my day, knock on the door, actually ring on the doorbell. And then, a, you know, quick goodbye. By the time I get to the front door to uh, turn the light on to see who's there, you know, odd enough to get, uh, you know, anybody coming to the door, much less, you know, quarter of 11 on a Sunday night. Um, I, I uh, uh, get to the door, turn the light on, and they're already back in the car. It's the delivery of the Agora Models uh, uh, Pack 4 of the uh, Optimus Prime. And went, well, that's odd. That's hard for it to come on Sunday night, quarter of 11. Uh, odd time to get deliveries. But I have the, uh, the what is basically the upper right shoulder, the upper shoulder, the right shoulder of Optimus Prime. And I'm going to go ahead and build that. Since we've done the left shoulder, I'm probably just going to uh, uh, do some uh, showing of the stages after they're done. And then I'll do a quick comparison with the, uh, with the left arm that we've already got done. So... Uh, not gonna I'm not gonna trouble you there's nothing really new about this it's just the other arm so uh, this will be a quick video but I thought I would get it done this morning get it out of the way get back to the regular model building uh, but I just thought I would I, I would impress upon you the fact that neither rain nor snow nor dark of night will stop the Agora model delivery service um, I just wish I'd get notifications I, I've only ever gotten a notification on the first kit and that was it. After that, uh, I've kind of been waiting for them to show up whenever they do. So, uh, without much further ado, let's get building. And as usual, I've got the uh, I've got the three trays that make up the uh, other shoulder. Now, this one is as same as I've done before, but it doesn't have the nice big uh, uh, Autobot symbol that goes on the shoulder. So, other than that, everything is the same. Let's uh, let's do some building. Okay, I thought I'd do a first check in here. We've got the first tray of three, first of three trays empty of parts, and we've got the uh, right shoulder. Uh, we're gonna get ready to put a bunch of stuff on here, but these joints are very very tight, and you don't think that they will ever turn. Oh, they will turn. They just need to have a lot more torque on them. And that's going to happen with all the weight that we're going to end up putting on them. Trust me, when this thing is all done, you're going to want that stiff joint there so that you are not getting uh, slouching arms and whatnot. But if you muscle it, you can make those joints turn. So now we're going to go on to the uh, second, uh, which looks like it is uh, making that, uh, that elbow joint. But we're going on to the second tray now. And we'll check back in when those parts have been used. All right, so here is uh, the end of tray two. I've got uh, this much of the right shoulder done. Now all of the this is all of the guts. This is all the internals and stuff. And uh, what we're going to do finally is put all the cosmetic and uh, plating pieces, all the metal pieces. Uh, around the outside of it and dress it up and then I will uh, wrap this up and show you what it looks like next to the completed left arm and here is the completed upper right arm and surprisingly it looks just like it does in the instructions see there's the instructions there's the arm sometimes things work out um, I will go ahead and put up the other arm now so you can see or the completed the completed left arm how massive that is and there you go and I'm imagining the chest about that wide so taking an aerial shot of it you can see how far apart those arms are gonna be I'm again presuming so uh, I still have the uh, uh, windshields and stuff. I still have those wrapped in foam because I want to keep those nice and clean, but they 
that's about well I guess it moves over to about there because that's half of the way so got that and of course the big party piece is the head and that'll go something like that so yeah he's uh, getting to be quite this quite the huge thing I never would have suspected that his shoulder chunk is the same size as his head and again this one doesn't have the nice Autobot symbol there so no dressing up on that side and that's gonna do it for a Monday morning uh, we've got the left arm or the right arm we've got the left arm and something like that I'm not gonna you know my head is not quite the same size as Wayne so I'm not gonna measure use mine as a measurement but you get the idea that this is getting to be a hefty little bot here and of course the the nice head so um, great way to start the week even if it was a little odd getting it delivered late last night so um, hope you enjoyed it and we'll pick this up next time next uh, next issue issue five will be the lower arm so we will have two complete arms and prime will not have to go into battle single-handedly so um, join us <laughs> whenever those parts arrive it could be you know <laughs> It could be in the middle of the night. It could be who knows when. So uh, join us again next time. And until then, until all are one, until this arm is one, um, y'all take care of yourselves.